What's up, party people? Your man DJ Silver Knight, party fanatic, checking in with you. And today I'm bringing you five tips to becoming a better networker. Networker to networking. Five tips to better networking. And I'm trying to find a place to go do this vlog. You know, I like to sit outside and get some of that natural air. And I came over to the skate park, and everywhere I'm going so far, it's either really noisy or it's like a lot of people talking. So I'm gonna go find another place and then I'll be right back. So while I go find me some places to shoot around Atlanta, a nice place to vlog for you guys, my lovely family, uh, roll my intro. That's not really an intro because I don't have the intro. It's just shots of Atlanta. Go. I think I found me a, a little place. Let me get this right. Hold on, hold on. Get that right. All right. So I found me a little walking area. And let me get my paper. You hear that, that ruffling? That's my little notes. I like to write myself notes so I can stay on track. I don't like to get off, off track too far. In any business, and of course I'm a DJ, entertainer, but in any business, networking is one of the most important things that you can do. The better you network, the better you build relationships, uh, the more business you're gonna have, the more consistent you'll be able to be. You know, you want people to call you and know your brand and, and, and wanna work with you. So networking, becoming a great networker and a genuine a uh, good person is going to help you so much now these tips are not any any order you know my tips are never in any order so don't think oh I'm saying this first because it's so important all of them are important and, and there are many more than just these five all right but this is my five tip series so the very first tip I'm gonna say is know your business know yourself know what you're selling when you're networking and talking to different people you know who you are you know how do you know i mean you might have many talents right and there's nothing wrong with having a, a bunch of talents right let me put this a little dark uh we're having you know many talents you're supposed to you know nobody wants a one trick pony however you know you don't want to be a jack of all trades and a master of none so knowing what your your jump off point is i think is very important you know, what is that one thing that's gonna get you in front of people and get them to even wanna know what else you can do or who else you can be and how far you can go? You know, like, I don't know, like a Ludacris or something like that. You know, he did radio, then he started rapping. So he had his jump ball points. He's doing movies, got headphones and liquor. I mean, all kind of stuff. He is, is this household name and household brand. And so I, I look at somebody like that and say, well, okay, how did they start? What was they jumping off point? They didn't just come in the game and say, hey, I'm ludicrous and I'm doing all of this stuff. No, he had a jump off point. And I want to say it was radio. I'm not sure before radio what really his jump off point was, but I know radio was one of the things that he was known for. And then that led him into the rapping, what he was known for. Now he's, I mean, A-list movie star. A-list? A-list movie star. Let's, let's, yes, A-list movie star. And, you know, have all these different, these ventures that he does. And it it came from him knowing his business and set himself apart. What set him apart from the next person? So know your business, know yourself, so you know what you're selling to somebody, all right? Tip number two. Isn't this so nice? Found me a nice little spot to do my thing. All right, tip number two. I'm just gonna hold the camera like this. Hopefully I don't drop it in this murky water. Oh, that'd be awful. I would jump in after it though, I would have to. All right, anyway, tip number two, you have to go out. You have to go out to events. You have to try meetups and uh, go on eventbrite.com and find events to go to to meet people. You're not gonna meet anybody simply by being on IG, simply by being on Facebook. And those are great tools, but they shouldn't be your end all be all. Go out, let people feel your energy and meet you and see the person that you are so they know who they're dealing with. Be able to touch you and shake your hand or dap you up or, or high five or, or whatever. I like to go out and meet people. Any job I've ever had, when I worked at Apple Store, I didn't get it because I just put in the application. I got it because after I put my application in, I went in the store, I was like, hey, I would like to you know, meet your hiring manager or your store manager. 
And hi, I applied online and we just had a conversation. It was almost like a first interview, but we had a, we had a nice conversation and they got to feel my vibe, I got to feel their vibe, do I even wanna work there, you know, all of that good stuff. So go out to events, go out, meet people, don't just be in Starbucks on your laptop 24-7. Don't just be on your phone on IG 24-7. Go out to these different networking events and, and meet people. Okay, tip number three. Now, this is gonna sound like an easy tip, but I see people do this all the time. You're at the event, you've made it. All right, you got your, got your nice little drink in hand, you, 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 you're feeling social, and you're here. You're on your phone the whole time. You're not talking to anybody. You're sitting in a corner. You're scared. Don't be afraid to talk to as many people as you can. That would be my tip number three. Talk to as many people as you can. That's what you're there for. You're not there just to be in a corner so nobody can see you. Don't be afraid. I know it's hard. Some people are scared to talk to people. You might be shy. You have to get out of that. You have to talk to as many people as you can so they can get to, again, to know you. You're there. Why are you on your phone? Why are you, who's on the phone? They don't matter. Why are you texting or scrolling through uh, Big Booty Judy's Instagram page? I don't know. You're at the event. Why not be in the room? When you're in the room, be in the room. Let them feel your presence. Let them feel your energy. So make sure if you're at your different networking events, talk to as many people as you can. Would you guys be mad if I did the rest of the vlog in this little stone thing? It feels great. Would you be mad if I did the rest of the vlog like this? If I, if I just did like, and tip number four. And <laughs> All right, tip number four. So you know your brand, you know how to explain yourself and what you're doing, where your jump off point is. You've went to some events, you've talked to as many people as you can, now what? All right, you got all these phone numbers and business cards, what do you do? When you follow up with people, don't follow up with immediately asking for whatever you want. Uh, hey, I just, I met you at so-and-so event. Can I give you my new music? Hey, DJ Silver Knight, uh, I just met you at the club. Play my music. No, get, get try to get to know them. Try try to let them get to know you first before you can start asking for <laughs> One of my pet peeves is somebody that comes up to me in the club, here's my hard drive, or here's my thumb drive, here's my CD, uh, play my stuff. Hello, how are you? What kind of music is this? Who are you? Uh, sure, I would like a drink in it. I mean, they don't do any of that relationship building stuff. They just automatically, Here's my music. Here's my music. Here's my music. Forget your music. I, you know, you're not even caring about wanting to get to know who I am or talk. Have you taken the time to see what kind of DJ I am? Uh, what do I play? That particular genre of music, do I play that? Look at the crowd. Listen to what I'm playing. Is it going to fit in to what I'm doing? And that's just one example of, of how I think you have to get to know somebody first, even if you take your time to do a little research. What kind of venues does Silver Knight play? Well, let me go out and listen to him a couple times. Let me introduce myself the first time and not ask for nothing. You know, maybe even the third time before you even ask for anything. And I just think that's a better way to network is actually build relationships, actually follow up with people. Get to know the person that you're trying to network with and build a relationship with. All right, very simple. I really like that chair. I really didn't want to leave that chair. I might have to come back to it. So the last tip that I would give, be hungry but never desperate. If you're trying to get to know somebody, you want them, for instance, to play your music, you shouldn't just be all over them, all in their DMs, all Facebook messages, and just, just be genuine with your networking. Be genuine with getting to know somebody. You can be hungry, I want, I want you to want and be passionate, but being desperate, there's a certain smell and feel to desperation. And you should never have to be desperate. You should never want to have to make somebody like you or like your, pro like, let them like it. Let them feel it, let it get to them. If they're not feeling it, if they don't like it, they're not vibing with you, there's millions of other people that will vibe with you. So understand, you do not have to be desperate. Keep your hunger, keep your passion, be a good person, be clear about who you are, go network, go out and talk to people, go to events, talk to as many people as you can, go to the right events, go to the right events. Don't, don't just go to any event, go to the events that make sense for what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go in this life. The same thing with if you got a job, if you have to get a job before you're this big independent, whatever you want to be, get a job that makes sense. 
So if you're trying to be in technology, yeah, go work for Apple. If you're trying to be in music, go work for Guitar Center. You trying to be a DJ? Hell, you, you want new gear? Go work at Guitar Center or something like that that makes sense for what you're trying to do in the long run. Use all of this stuff as stepping stones to get to where you really are trying to be in life and be genuine. Be a good person about it. Don't be that fake person that just comes and, you know, deal with somebody and, and step on them. Like, it's one thing to be using people in life as a stepping stone, but in a good way. You know, not stepping on people or stepping over people. Use people to come up, y'all come up together, y'all help each other out. It's a give and take like any relationship. That's what networking is. So, those are my five tips. It's not the end all be all, I don't believe, but those are five good tips. If you have more tips, you have better tips, you wanna comment on my tips, you didn't like my tips, comment below, talk to your boy, make sure you share, please like it, Please subscribe, please tell a friend, come and hang out at my gigs. I'm gonna be going to some exclusive gigs soon and bringing y'all with me. So, you know, the vlog's gonna keep going. And, 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 that intro is coming too, because I don't have an intro yet, but it's coming, all right? Your man DJ Silver Knight, the party fanatic, thank you for hanging out with me. So good to see y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.